Okay guys, so in this tutorial I will show you how to create your own plugs. Um, before that you will need to have uh, Arnold MTOA uh, load into your Maya. So to verify Windows, setting preference, plugin manager, and here MTOA. Okay, yes, Arnold is well activated. Great. So yes, it's the plus button. So you have two things. You can model in your scene uh, a complex uh, plug or geometry. Uh, look, for example, uh, if you if I open this plug, you see it's pretty complex uh, with a lot of uh, details that also uh, can be separated parts but all need to be combined into one mesh uh, at the end. Okay, so uh, before to do that, you can create your plug, then import uh, the file into the scene or create directly into the scene. Let's try a simple one first. So I click the plus. Uh, do you want to save your scene? No. Okay, that will open you the plug creation pop-up. Be very careful to don't close this one. Uh, otherwise, you will have to start again. Um, you can save on this scene, but I advise you if you want to work in to save uh, at your own place. Well, um, Plugit's uh, algorithm is pretty, pretty complex, in fact. And there is a lot, uh, maybe a thousand of operation uh, in order that when you just one click into your mesh, uh, the plugs uh, plugs correctly. There is auto connect, curvature, um, scale fit, a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, and uh, in order that your plugs works correctly, you have to follow some rules at the creation. Uh, clean creation, it's a plug that will work correctly. If you don't respect rules, uh, that will not work then. So I set some warnings that will uh, pop up and stop the plug creation if one rule is not respected. But, may, you know, sometimes mistake is possible. So the first rule is don't touch these four faces. You can do at least what you want, but you don't, uh, you should not uh, modify this. Okay. I mean, just if you have one vertice, here, that will not work, okay? You should keep this uh, clean as possible. So the first thing for a simple uh, plug is, for example, I can start from this, create a face, extrude this, yes, create a circle one, and you create your plug. So the red here is uh, for warning, but you can, if you want to model directly, you can put another shadow. This is not a, a problem. Uh, yes, I will create something really simple here. Okay. And here, yes, a nice transition. Okay, this is my plug. Uh, and I will don't touch the border. It's well connected. Of course, you have to connect to this border. So here, as I start from the mesh, no problem with that. Um, yes. Um, here, you can choose the folder. So I will go to user. You see, I, I have based and my own. So you can choose where to save it. I will keep it on base. You will have, uh, here is the link to the <laughs> video you are looking for. So maybe, you know, it's just a, a link because I want people to respect the rules. And give a name. Okay. Um, okay. So my name plug, where I will save it. You can set all. It's not an obligation. Uh, it's just a little set, then after, when you have the plug option, you can, you know, just delete that easily. Uh, yes, why not? I will set uh, one all here. I can remove this if I want to change. Okay, so in blue, that means uh, all set is done. 
Here, uh, we will see it later. In some case, we need to you need to specify uh, to plug it if you have a concave border. It's some thing the script need to, to know. But here it's not the case. In the case, uh, we only have convex border because it's a circle. So I don't have to check this. It's pretty old. When it's okay for you, you just have to select the mesh. And uh, look, if I don't select the mesh, for example, it will tell you, you should select the mesh. If I broke something here, it will tell you uh, border compromise, something is not great. So be sure to have this clean. Okay. Create the plug. Uh, you have to wait some second because it will render a thumbnail with Arnold and boom, you have. So this scene uh, is not necessary anymore. You can modify, create a new one or start on a new creation. Okay, so let's create a more complex together. Uh, I will create a new scene. Uh, don't save. Okay, let's start on a new scene. And I will import a scene where, where I already create some plugs. Uh, it's better. For example, let's import other one. Great. Uh, which one I want? Not this one. Yes, this one. Okay. So I keep this one. So I model this on my modeling scene and then import it. Uh, let's call it uh, test uh, anyway. And uh, yes, here uh, the tricks to connect uh, is that you have to connect this. Uh, for example, I just combine. You can here select one edge from each one and bridge. You exit, you double click. You deselect these two guys here and here, for example, to have a uh, three and three edge and bridge again. Now I can select that. I double click to loop and delete edge. Okay. And you have different way to connect, but it's a way that works well. And now my plug is perfectly connect into my uh, template border mesh. Here we have concave border. You see this uh, inner um, curve effect. It means that it's concave, like uh, this icon. So here I have to say yes. Just check that. Yes, and it's pretty old. Create uh, plug. Oh, I should select, of course. Waiting. Okay, this one is a bit longer. Okay. Um, so here, the thumbnail are great, but if you want more perfect thumbnail or um, sometimes you will have uh, plugs with a really low density mesh and you want a high quality thumbnail. Uh, a little tricks I, I did is that um, here on the scene, once you have created, you can select, for example, plug selection, select members, or you can select border, uh, convert to face, grow, well, whatever you want, and just select this. I will ja then mesh uh, smooth, okay, to add uh, some uh, smooth onto my mesh. Uh, then, uh, Open Arnold and render it. Okay. Be sure to apply the, I don't know, plug shader. I think, no, it's the plug term shader. Yes. And you see now I have a render with a, a smooth plug, but I want to export this. I just want to use the render. And you just have to save the image uh, into the the library, which is uh, plug it library user based. Uh, this one was called test and you have the PNG image here. Just override this image. You can edit in Photoshop, do whatever you want. Okay. And now it's if I um, reload plug it, I have the new image updating here. 
little tricks for those who want really nice thumbnail. Uh, I think you know everything. Uh, one last thing, yes, if you want to uh, move from one tab, sub tab to one other, let's uh, create a new tab, create tab, close this, okay. I want to switch one to this tab. I, uh, pretty simple, you just open, right click, open the folder. Uh, be sure to select all the folder and just simply move it, relaunch plug it, and it's done. Okay, guys, so I think you know everything about uh, plug it now. Um, one cool thing would be if you send on the Discord uh, your own plugs. Uh, this way on future update, I can clean them and add, add them to the uh, default plugin library in order to share with other plugin users. So yes, uh, that would be really, really great if you are agree to, to, to share with us and with me uh, your creation plugs. Thank you guys.